Welcome back to Ask a Hawk for another week. Uh, as you know, I'm the number one host at Hawthorne uh, with the number one show. Uh, and I think you're now the seventh debutant on the show this year, Ryan Burton. Congratulations for joining us. Thank you for that. About time I got on the show, so I'm looking forward to it. Well, I think you've been more nervous or more excited than uh, actually playing your first game to get on this uh, well-renowned show. Yeah, that's true. I've been uh, all, all last night uh, looking at the previous shows and uh, trying to get a feel for it. So, yeah, a little bit nervous at the moment. Well, I think that's the most research anyone's ever done uh, to come on Ask a Hawk. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, we'll riff into it. Um, it's pretty simple, mate. All I do, as you know, is ask a question. Um, and you give me an interesting answer, unlike the majority of the debutants that we've had on this year. Yep. Oh, let's, get, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we've got Kadak. Uh, what was it like to play your first game and with your first kick, kick a goal? Yeah, it's actually something I've uh, grew up wanting to do. Um, not just play um, footy, but uh, if I do get the opportunity to debut, then to um, my first kick to be a goal. So. Ryan Burton, the 19 year old. South Australian. Um, obviously it just panned out like that, but it was a pretty special feeling turning around and, and seeing all the boys run at you and, and get around you. So, um, yeah, pretty special feeling. If you had an extra yard of pace, mate, um, I reckon you probably could have kicked a goal in the first 30 seconds of the game. Yeah, I might have been a bit slow or Punky might have kicked a little bit too hard on it or just a crooked bounce. So, um, nah, footy gods weren't talking to me then. No, they weren't. Uh, we've got Kath. Uh, what was the feeling like when you were drafted and yet obviously had to move away from your family? You're a South Australian boy. Um, nothing against our South Australian fans, but you're probably pretty happy to get out of the state, I'm guessing. Yeah, I was actually. Um, oh, whack. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to get drafted into Victoria, um, home of footy, so I was pretty pleased with that and um, even, even happier getting drafted for the Hawthorne. Obviously, the um, premiership team for the last three years, I couldn't have asked for anything more. Yeah, no worries. I'm, I'm sure it's pretty exciting to get to meet blokes like myself. Uh, we've got Tracy. Uh, what's the biggest thing you've learnt since joining the club? As you said, you've obviously uh, come to a pretty successful club of late um, and we've got some pretty good people here. Yeah, I learn stuff every day, especially from the, um, some of the senior boys. Um, but just the professionalism it takes to be an AFL footballer. Um, I had a bit of an insight um, spending a few weeks at, at clubs last year, but um, Hawthorne's just another step up and um, yeah, continuing to learn every day and um, getting better every day. Well, that's a good approach, I reckon. Uh, we've got Mun. I'm not sure if it's your mum or, or what, but who was the first person you called when you found out you were selected to play? Um, I was going to call mum or dad, and it happened to me that dad was um, first in my recent call, so I called him and he didn't pick up, so I called mum. She then didn't pick up, and I didn't know what to do, so I texted my brother. And he replied, so it um, turns out my brother was the first to know, but mum called me back after that, so I spoke to her. I've got another question. So when you tend to get drafted to a club for the people out there, um, the club will flick around the number to everyone involved in that club and um, they'll all send you texts or give you a call. Who was the first person to call you from Hawthorne? Oh, I can't actually think back that far. I remember Jordan Lewis called me three times. I didn't answer one of them because I didn't, <laughs> didn't know who it was. Um, but I got a fair few texts from the boys. It was good. Now yeah, we've got Jamie. If you weren't playing AFL football, uh, if you weren't playing AFL football, what would you be doing? Not much, I'm guessing. I guess I'd be at uni studying. I reckon. What would you study? Uh, probably business. Um, my dad does marketing, so I'm my brother, so I could do that or um, some business management course. I'm not sure. Where would you go to uni? Uh, I would have stayed in Adelaide, I reckon. Um, probably have gone to Adelaide Uni or Flinders Uni or something. Uh, nice. Uh, we've got Andrew. Uh, the question is, how do you feel knowing um, that you could be involved in a big finals campaign in your first year of footy? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I didn't have um, too high expectations after going in for surgery around three, but um, yeah. I'm stoked to be playing now and um, to just be a, a slim chance of, of playing um, towards the end of the year is pretty exciting. Yeah. And we've got Mark. Uh, lucky last question from the fans. Uh, being an SA boy, what's better, Farmers Union or a Big M? To be honest, I didn't even know what Big M was before I moved to Melbourne. So you didn't know what a Big M was? No. Nah, oh, uh, you haven't lived, mate. We had classic chocolate milk and we had Farmers Union iced coffee, so that's all I knew. 
Mate, that is uh, quite disappointing. We've got an SA boy, uh, he only drinks Farmers Union. It's probably strawberry as well, is it? Nah. Chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah. Chocolate boy? Ah, good. So, mate, we're in the last piece, obviously, underneath the club. Um, did you drink coffee previously before coming to Hawthorne, or were you a hot chocolate boy, or even your strawberry farmer's union milk? Um, I had a year out of school, so I drank a bit of coffee during that year out um, with a bit of free time, but um, definitely drank a lot more since coming here. And since you played your first game, I know a lot of people have hit me up uh, saying that you look like a little mini me out on the field and I'm sure you've got that and um, everyone knows how much of a good looking rooster I am um, and you're not too bad yourself obviously but uh, are you pretty happy that you're getting uh, called myself obviously with how good of a look good looking rooster I am or? Yeah I'm pretty stoked about that actually uh, looking pretty similar on the field so um, a few spectators might think I'm having a few touches um, every game so no that's positive. Well, that's good a few spectators might think I'm kicking a couple of goals then if you keep playing. Yeah, that's it. We can work well with each other here. I like it. Well, thanks for joining us, mate. Thank you for that. You gave us a couple of uh, reasonable answers for a debutant on Ask a Hawk. Yeah, I'd like to provide something. How do you go at hosting? Uh, no, you're going pretty well at the moment. I don't know if I'm going all right. But you could finish us off here because at Ask a Hawk, we do have a sponsor. Brought to you by Victorian Responsible in Gambling. Yeah. So it's a great cause for a great show. Um, and we had a great guest today, our seventh debut time for the year and uh, it could even be nice to get a couple more but uh, looking forward to playing West Coast over in Perth this Friday night. Thanks for joining guys.